everybody. Today I'm going to be plasti dipping some pick and pluck foam for a Harbor Freight Apache 3800 case. Just thought I would make a short video about it. I won't show every single second of all the spraying, but I'll just show the before, a couple clips during, and then the after. Uh, so basically I've already plucked my foam, plucked most of it, did a little bit more precise cutting on one piece. There's a top layer and a bottom layer that these two layers go in between. And these are the only two that you pluck. So I got my shapes. What I'll do is I will spray each layer and then glue them together so that I have one piece. And then I will be done. Some guys only do a couple coats. Some do as many as 10. I'm not sure how many I'm going to do. I'm just going to wait and see how it looks and feels and go from there. Um, it is important when doing it, as I'll show you, that you do even passes back and forth um, and that you stop spraying at the end of each pass. Uh, I'll see a lot of guys will go in and they'll concentrate and they'll just go and just kind of go all over the place, but it works a lot better when you go and even passes back and forth light coats and just let them build up and uh, yeah, so I'll document some of that as I get started. All right, ready to get started here. I highly, highly recommend one of these, I guess it's called a can gun. Uh, you just slip it on top of any spray can and it saves your index finger like you wouldn't believe, especially for longer projects. Probably not really needed for this, but years ago I plasti dipped my wheels black um, and it saved my life. So anyway, I'll just show you the first coat real quick and then I'll stop recording and probably finish it up. That's literally it. So it's better to do a bunch of light coats when using Plasti Dip than it is to do heavy ones. Much, much better. Uh, at least on my wheels and everything else I've used it on. So I'm just gonna apply the same logic to doing the foam. Um, and don't worry too much about, you know, when I'm going in at this angle, obviously I'm gonna get the inside of this way better than I am the one facing this way or inside here but each layer I'll just change directions. So next time I'll do it this way. I'll do a layer coming from this end, that side, and you just switch it up and that way you get even layers inside everything. And if you ever notice any parts that are light or too heavy, you can kind of skip over the parts that are too heavy or go just a teeny bit longer on the parts that are too light. So you can kind of compensate that way. Anyway, uh, I'll keep going. I'm gonna wait probably, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, let it dry in between each coat. As the coats get more, you might want to wait a little bit longer in between each coat as it gets heavier on here. Uh, but the first one, you usually have to wait for 10 minutes, so. All right, we're looking pretty good. We're about four coats in. Um, on one of the coats, I kind of went up from underneath, holding it in hand so that I could get some of these inside um, areas better since it's kind of hard to get it from up top without saturating the top layers um, anyway I'll do coat five and just uh, get one more on video here Then I go around and hit the other outside edges, um, the other three on each one that I didn't get. And then I'll let it dry for a bit. I think I'll, I might stop after this fifth coat, but uh, I'll come back with an update and see. All right, final coat is drying. And then I will 
some spray adhesive on the top of this bottom layer so that this layer will basically become one with that one and I'll have one solid layer. And I'll show you after once it's inside the box, but I'm gonna let it dry for a while and probably let it cure for 24 hours just to be safe. I don't know if that's actually the thing with Plasti Dip, but I heard it was. Uh, so I'll just play it safe, let it cure for 24 hours, and then come back when the box is all assembled and ready to go. It looks pretty good. Nothing really uh, separates anymore. There's some areas you can tell that it's still pluck, pick and pluck, but um, you know, like inside. But even that's pretty well adhered and stuck together from the plastic dip. The rest of it just looks like a solid custom cut piece of foam. So pretty cool. Uh, these boxes are great. They have Apache 1800, 2800, 3800, 4800, and I think a big rifle one as well at Harbor Freight. And this one was like. 30 something bucks maybe so they're great for you know firearms magazines knives sharpening systems cameras all of the above all right guys we're all done two pieces are glued together they've been put inside it's got the bottom foam automatically built in and the top foam so ready to go i think it looks pretty good see a couple of light spots which are where I had previously sprayed some adhesive glue in there to kind of keep these thinner portions adhered stronger um, and then even when I sprayed over it with the Plasti Dip it's still a little bit shinier in those areas but that's okay everything else looks good I won't make you watch me load the whole thing but um sharpening stones. We'll have a couple of these will go in. I think it fits nice and snug. Anyway, that's it. Comment if you have questions. I'm sure I could have done things differently or better, but uh, I feel like it turned out pretty good.